They still have it. All right. Supermarket Sweep. Oh, my God. We used to watch that show so much. We watched that show constantly back in the day. Mom loved it. It was great. You'd go all those. They'd go to the meat section and just grab those big old nasty hunks of beef. Oh, yeah. Throw them in the cart. <laughs> Baby formula. That was always another hot one, man. Just load the cart up with diapers. Oh, it was so good. You watch it up later from time to time. Nice. Richard met his first wife on Family Feud. Interesting. I didn't know that. Well, that's, a, that's a good tidbit to know. Yeah. Know that. Do you guys remember Win, Lose, or Draw? I remember the name, but you're going to have to remind me. They basically had like a thing and they had like a sketch pad and they had to like draw something. It was Pictionary, basically. basically. Right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. I used to cut the grass for that guy's cousin. Oh, cool. He was a major jerk. <laughs> <laughs> he was so rude. <laughs> anyway. But he paid his bill. I Actually. Think. Well. <laughs> now that you say it. Well. See. I can put up with somebody being a jerk if they pay. But nope. He owned a company and he was on a little bit of hard times with the company. Oh. Password. Password. Uh, that was the pyramid, right? $100,000 pyramid, right? But yeah, he owned a company and he was kind of having some hard times. And he wouldn't pay his bill and when we would go confront him, he'd be like, well, you didn't trim under my deck in the backyard. And it's like, bro, I literally watched my guy trim under the deck in the backyard. That, like, I was mowing right next to him. He trimmed. <laughs> well, you didn't do... No, give me my money, bro. And so finally it was, give me my money and I'll just leave you alone. And he's like, all right. So, I got my money, and I walked away and never cut his grass again. Yeah. Cousin better have my money. Steve Harvey. Steve Harvey's all right on there, yeah. Bro. No, I said, sir, <laughs> you're driving a Lamborghini. Give me my money for cutting your grass. <laughs> oh, speaking of Lamborghinis. <laughs> it was Sapphire Blue. Uh... No, this one was gray, oh. like charcoal gray. Yeah. I saw a Lamborghini this week. Oh, man. And a McLaren this week. Oh, dang. Out, out in the wild. Oh, oh, wow. On the road. Dang. Right, Second wife, not the first. Was it the same as the first? Um, and are you there? Oh, wait, sorry. Breaking the song. <laughs> I mean, how do you not? <laughs> right? All right, let's see. You remember uh, when it was the $10,000 pyramid? Yeah, yeah. So my aunt... In inflation, something in it. Yeah. Fun fact, my aunt basically lives... The TV's always on the Game Show Network in my house. So, like, I walk in the house anytime. There's, like, you know, somebody yelling, no whammy, you know, like, all the time. So, yeah. Oh, Password and Pyramid are two different shows. Hey. All right, all right, all right. But yeah. What was the other one? Supermarket sweep. There's another one we used to watch like nonstop. I don't know. Supermarket sweep was a great, a great. You series. want sugar? You want sugar beet at the sugar mill? Yeah, yeah. All right. No way, he's good show. I haven't seen an episode of Supermarket Sweep in a minute, though. I'd probably laugh at it, to be honest. Press Your Luck was the No Whammy one. Yep. They had the guy that figured out the code and, like, took him for a bunch of money. Remember that? I think they made a movie about it, maybe. Or, like, a docu-series or something. I don't, I don't remember that one, but I remember the documentary about the guy that... Uh, like literally researched all the values for the prices, right? Prices, right? Yeah, yeah. Yep. I mean, that's a that's a type that's a special kind of dysfunction. <laughs> that I'll takes say. some dedication, Holmes. That takes dedication. <laughs> he yeah. earned every bit of money. That guy really did earn every bit of money he took from that game show. Oh yeah, oh yeah, no, hundred percent, yeah. 
There's a reboot of Supermarket Sweep, but it's so bad. Oh. Oh. Well, in the in right. the later years, uh, what's that one? Guys Grocery Games? That was on, like, repeat. Like, when Mom was sick for the year and a half she was sick, she basically lived on, like, Game Show Network. It was on all the time as well. Our Travel Channel? We watched so much Travel Channel when she was sick. Oh, my God. It was It was too much. That or we'd watch HGTV. Who, Those were our three. Who was the game show? Who was the game show host, John? You did Supermarket Sweep a little bit. I think he's doing it now. And he used to do uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Mark Summers. Yes, Mark Summers. He had the other show. Um, uh, was it? Le it was Legends. Yeah, Legends was the Nickelodeon show, right? Yeah, I, I'm not sure if he was on Legends. Yeah, he but was. I'm. I okay. He had a, I no, think he was, was a, on. No, oh, he was on Double Dare. Double Dare. That's the show I'm trying to that, see. Legends is what, actually before my time. I feel like I don't remember watching Legends. Yeah, Legends. There was a small window for Legends. I've seen clips of Legends. Yeah, but I don't know that I've ever seen it. Uh, Dan, you can steal the one off the Forge Harvester if you want. I guess you're gonna run doubles. Yeah. Um, Sugar Mill. It's gonna be a little tough. With doubles. Talking about Legends of the Hidden Temple. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that was kind of. You're older, you're older than me. How do you not know this? I don't remember it, though. I don't know. Yeah, Double Dare was great, though. I remember watching a ton of Double Dare. What was the other, other Nickelodeon one where, like, at the end, they had to run up the, the big rock mountain? Was that not Legends? No. No. I don't know that. I forget Nickelodeon. How about uh, what channel was it on? I forget what channel it was on. How about American Gladiator? Yeah. <laughs> so it was kind of like American Gladiator, but for kids. Oh. You had to climb up Crag Rock or whatever it was called, I think. Cause it was Crag Rock. Jeez. Crag Rock. <laughs> that wouldn't happen today. <laughs> Are you sure you weren't smoking the Crag Rock? I mean, come on. <laughs> It was Sorry. 93. It was there. I had to take it. Well, yeah, American Gladiator was great, dude. All the steroids. My God. That was on in my house a lot, too. That was definitely on a lot in the house. All the steroids. But that's all right. That's the beginning of the slime phase. Yeah. Yeah. Beat the clock. Uh, thanks for that follow. Appreciate you. Welcome in. Why is Pappin? I think they still slime people, don't they? I like their Kids Choice Awards or whatever. Yeah, they do. Like this, yeah, I saw a clip where they got Jelly Roll. To be. Yeah. yeah, it was kind of funny. Okay, I was wrong. It's called the Agro Crag. What's the mountain? Guts? I'm trying to the TV show. Yeah, yeah that's it. Guts. Guts. I remember the name. I just don't remember the actual show. I don't remember that. They say American Gladiator for kids. Okay. The, the clock was 1950s. Yeah, I wasn't. I don't remember watching that one live or new. Uh, we're on PC, by the way. We're on Elm Creek Forex by Stevie, and we don't do crossplay. Hitting all the, you know. Gotcha. All right, we're talking classic TV. We're, we're in the game show uh, genre, which we have this conversation all the time. But we can't talk classic TV without talking about the classic of all classics. Anybody know where I'm going with this? Matlock. No. No. Oh. No. You know there's a Matlock reboot coming out, right? Oh, of course there is, because they like to ruin everything. Yeah. The uh, show that I was going to say was like, quality old TV to me anyway was Chips. Oh, some Poncharella. You know, anyway. <laughs> Which, by the way, I tried watching Chips like 15 years ago on like Netflix or 10 years ago on Netflix and absolutely couldn't watch it. It was so bad. <laughs> yeah. I was like, this is crap. <laughs> Why did I like this when I was a kid? Did it do, do. Well, the tractors with the plow will make it back to the home cell and I'll drive by himself. No. I said, will they? Not all right. 
Uh, Xbox and PlayStation can play together. Yes, there is cross-play in this game. Yep. Uh, Scoot, did you ask if you can auto-drive them back to the homestead? I asked if they would make it. If I auto-drived them. Uh, they might because I changed all through town to drive right down the center of the road. Sorry, this cedar was kind of loud. I couldn't. I gotta change my camera. <laughs> We're to the side here. I can't run behind like normal. Airwolf. Yeah, Airwolf was cool. I also liked, um, e not Mag, Night, Night Rider. See, it's all kind of before my time, though. Yeah, or at least I didn't watch it. Uh, John's not a scary movie person, but uh, are you afraid of the dark? Never seen it. I used to watch Unsolved Mysteries a lot with my sister. Allison, are you like, did you profile me and you're just going to like say everything that I like was all about back in the day? Because ER was like one of the best TV shows of all time, for the record. I think you've just profiled me, honestly. <laughs> I never watched Battle Battlestar. I couldn't get into that, but ER, oh my God, I watched, e I watched, I've watched most of ER like 17 times. Not quite the last like couple seasons, but like early ER, I've seen Bionic, never seen that either. No. I'm not Ren saying. Stimpy? Oh, dude, Ren and Stimpy was something, yeah. Or All uh, Real Monsters? Listen, Allison, we used to. You're doing a rewatch on season 12. That would be a great series to rewatch. Dukes. I never really got into that one either. MASH was good. I mean, in rerun runs, obviously. I'm not that old. Uh, we used to. No offense to anybody. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, I, I'm not that old either. That came off aggressive. Um, We used to like gather as a family in our living room to watch er back in the day because we only had one tv in our house then unsolved mystery theme song bothers you dude i get chills if i hear it not gonna lie yeah i would be what uh what streaming platform is that on uh er probably it's, cbs what is that no it's gonna be on it? the polychromatic bird one right Ah, the one I don't have. NBC. Wait, it's on HBO. <gasps> I have HBO. Is it really? <gasps> I mean, that's Prime Clooney right there, bro. I watch party anyone? Hello. It's oh, now you want to watch stuff with people? Nah, just by myself. <laughs> nope. You knew people liked the Dukes. You had to watch it. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that, Kimmy. <laughs> There's nothing wrong with that. This is the first uh, grow day for the new uh, sugar cane. What about it? If I drive in that field, is it going to mess oh, up? Oh, no, you're fine. You're fine. But I am going to need some assistance on bridge number uh, whatever this is. The harvest number seven? I don't know. Strange attack. Attraction to pay watch lists. <laughs> Can't imagine why. Oh, Sean coming in with my joke. No. Oh, Can man. you uh, come help me? What's your name, Scoot? Um, I'm by the bridge. By oh, 35. that stupid bridge. Yeah. Yeah. Are we a little stuck? Yeah. Um, just, just, just fast travel to that tractor right there. Why don't you take it off auto drive? Is it not? Is it on auto drive? It is. All right, let me let me have it. Let me have it. Oh, oh! <laughs> I was like, why is he stopped? And I went to it, and I was like, oh, that's why he stopped. I understand the assignment. Um. <laughs> all right so chat remember when i said i wanted to fix this uh area here um do as i say not as i do by the way oh he's like stuck that's why i called you i didn't want to be that guy <laughs> he's like don't touch my truck i'm stuck all right 
Uh, we're fixing this area right now, by the way. Do, 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 do. We're doing it, chat. We're doing the diversion around the bridge. So the bridge will be one-way traffic only. And then... Uh, um, Did you do a drainage study before you did that? Uh, Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Thundercats? I never watched that one either. Thunder, thunder, thundercats. That's oh. Oh. I used to be a big Thundercat fan. Oh, yeah, I'm a big, big Thundercat guy, huh? Yeah, I was, huh? All right. All right, so here's what we're going to do. We are going to divert. Um, see, Bear, I put drain tile in already. You just oh, okay, good. You just good. didn't see it. All right. Uh. <laughs> just Definitely. worried about our, you know, water quality, you know, environment. Yeah, yeah. It'll be a movie soon, is it? So we're just going to level this out real fast here. And then we're going to make the road go around. Uh, but I got to paint something besides meadow grass because I can't see what I'm doing here. I'll just shrubbery. We'll paint it and make it look better, Chad. I swear it'll, it'll not look like dirt when I get done here. We can actually probably plow a little bit of the field too. Shrubbery. Then we're going to bring it to the shopping tool in here and crank it up. Swaffening. Well, that needs a little more smoothage. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, chat. Oh, yeah. Uh, but anyway, I can remember uh, going back to ER really fast. I can remember like bringing our mattresses out of our bedrooms every Thursday night to like lay around our living room and watch ER as a family, by the way. That's how we watched it. No, what? Making an ER, ER spinoff? Is he really? Interesting. I did not know that. Um, we should put in this paint first. Interesting. We can actually make that field. Yeah, I already said that, didn't I? Get a plow down here eventually and fix this field. But um, obviously after the, uh, the crops, we got to get the crops, crops cleaned up. Sounds amazing. And then there was that one time we all, <laughs> gross trigger warning here. Uh, we all had the stomach flu in my house. So you know what happens when you have the stomach flu. Uh, the only person that wasn't sick was dad. Because he never got sick back in those days. And he came home from work one night at like 9, 10 o'clock. And it might have been during ER. And decided to, tr to clean all the trash cans in the house with bleach. Which was a great idea, but made all of us sick again. Yeah. Every single one of us. I'm thinking this for the road chat. It looks like a nice road in Chicago. Interesting. We'll just, we'll, we'll dive in right there. This is a master at work here, chat, obviously. What's going on right now? Watch this, y'all. My camera's actually kind of set for this, too. Not really, but kind of. And if that's not, like, a good diversion channel, bridge, road around the thing, I don't know what is. And then we'll make uh, traffic go on that. Going that away. Auto drive traffic, that is. And then, and then, and then, and then, and then, yeah. 
It'd be great. All right, so we don't need a whole bunch of trucks put in, in you know, we don't need that, Dan, but okay. Um, we will, might have to redo that field boundary, but for right now, it's fine. But you guys were done hauling stuff by now, no? Oh, you're hauling I mean, sugar. We're, we're hauling sugar cane at the moment. Yeah, my bad. I forgot about sugar cane. I mean, we can be, we can be done doing that if you'd like. No, no, no. I just forgot that, uh, that was a thing. Oh, good. Oh, this is beautiful, chat. This is going to be beautiful. I bet. Oh, no, I didn't mean to hit that button. Sorry. Don't yell at me. That's not what I wanted to do. Oh, we just, okay. Doing wrong things here, chat. Wrong answers only. it maybe not so aggressive but it'll work and i am keeping a little farther to the right here for like anything large combines these plows anything like that plenty of room here plenty 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 of room gotcha ticketed it says never heard of it Never heard of it. Alright, so hang on. What are what are people's thoughts on the office? I'm a I'm a big fan. <laughs> Old Dunder Mifflin. Oh good. I know that you don't like Steve Carell. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. Not a fan. But I, if, hey, you, you're in? if you get through the first like five episodes because it's a little awkward. Yeah, you're entitled to your opinions, you know? It's okay. Um I feel like the next thing in your mouth is going to be like, you could be wrong, it's fine. <laughs> Am I the only one that doesn't like it? <laughs> oh, man. No, I, your opinions are your opinions. That's okay. Everybody's entitled to. All right, how much better is this going to be now, chap? Man, this is a thing of beauty right here. Have a little diversion. Watch this. Watch this. It's going to be great. It's going to be great. Can't stand Steve. Let's go. Not alone. Not alone. I have seen what's his what's that movie? Oh god. Evan Almighty, I think is mm -hmm. that one movie. What a snooze fest that was. Anyway. <laughs> anyway. It's another you know, like the the Moses shtick. Yeah. No, wasn't wasn't a big fan. All right, so I've been saying for a while I was going to fix that bridge, and it is now. It's done. Just like that. Got to love being able to, like, customize auto drive and do a little landscape and cut a few trees. You know, it's fine. It's will buff. Yeah, bet. There was a lot of sugar cane. Wasn't there, like, three mil? Uh, yeah. Or sugar beets, sorry. Yeah. There is three mil sugar cane. <laughs> uh, but the sugar beets, yeah, there was there was a lot. There was a lot. Yeah, we got about six more trips. Wow. Because Dan and I are doubling. Actually, all three of us are doubling, but Dan and I have double uh, double of the construction trailers. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Didn't take us too much longer. No. The good thing is it holds 20. Can you imagine 20 million? Oh. There's another factory I want to buy, though. Oh. Um, this one. I choose you. They're kind of trippy looking, aren't they, Chant? No? Maybe. Four hundred thousand dollars, Stevie. Why? Why so spendy? Good God, man! Nice. Goodness. Uh, <laughs> so that holds twenty million liters of potatoes. <laughs> That's a lot of taters. 
considering potatoes really don't have that much yield. I mean, we do have 6 million potatoes right now, but... 20 million potatoes. Uh, that's a lot of potatoes. Potatoes. Uh, what potatoes do we need, though? Do we need both? We don't. We only need worst potatoes. Worst, worst potatoes, chat. What are we washing machine? What now. field go get sunflower? The big one. All right, thirty-two. We can't plant it now. Uh, what's well, good? But now I need the potato washer. That's what I just bought. Oh. <laughs> That's why I was complaining about four hundred thousand dollars. Uh, where's that? At? Where'd it go? I just, I just, I was just there. Where'd it? Hello? So we don't need the steam though. So we probably just turn the steam off, right? And just do the worst. I'm here for that. And then we will uh, distribute. It'll do it automatically for us. We don't have to haul them. All right. So the potato production chain is kind of open we just need a haul to the wash plant now yeah yeah well that we need that sunflowers that we can't plant right now too i guess right yeah i guess wow sean so yeah that'll be uh that'll be good though because we already make like Three or four hundred thousand dollars just on fast timing, like per day. So we get the potato stuff going, we get the brewery going. Bre brewery, bro, it's gonna be lit. Just saying, by the way, bear on this uh seed hawk, did you know that you can put giant floater tires on the cart? Oh, really? And that look, it looks mean, bro. That is so cool. <laughs> Monster to, cart. I need to change our carts. <laughs> oh, kind of tough looking. Like in a good way. Oh, yeah. Good times, right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> I discovered that earlier today. And I was like, ah, oh, where do I swipe my debit card? Yes, please. <laughs> the seed hawk is in the in game auto. Yeah. Which is the cedar that that cart goes to. It's in the mod hub. The seed hawk was. Was it a DLC or base game 19? I can't remember now. It was one of those. You're telling me the Seed Hawk's not in the mod hub? Since when? The Seed Hawk's not in the mod hub. I thought it was. Is it on an itch page? It sounds so wrong. I thought it was in the mud hub. All right. The large cart isn't. But there is a seed hawk in the mud hub, correct? The smaller cart is. Interesting. Okay. Well, then I, I you know, I've been wrong once. You know right, what I'm more not? What? One more double trip to the uh, sugar mill. We should be done. Oh, wow. You know what I'm not wrong about, though, chat? That ER was a good show. What was ER's theme song? Did, they, did it have, like, an opening like song? Oh, uh, I feel like they did, yeah. But I don't remember it offhand. Don't remember it. And then, actually, you know, after ER... 
I, at least one of the producers or maybe i don't remember who it was uh they they came out with a another show came out with another show called southland it was like a cop show from like la yep okay in southland honestly is some of the best tv like out there and it didn't make it very long on nbc and they canceled it because they tried to replace er and like in the time slot of er thursday nights at nine and it just didn't hit but like tn tnt or tnn or tnt picked it up mm -hmm. and they ran i don't remember how many seasons but it was fantastic that was one of the shows like that was appointment tv for me back in the day i think first time just watched it like last year or something something like yeah so very good series if you like like cop shows called southland is it still running or did they like no it's it's done by now okay but it ran for i don't know how many years but it was it was a pretty good uh pretty good series but yeah by the some of the people that were behind er anyway I, I don't remember exactly who or how many but it was a good show all right so i need to plant oh hey on them uh them plow tractors need their uh course play cleared or put them all away maybe they already are i don't know not too sure all right what else needs to be hauled john uh technically there's sugar cane there's uh potatoes whatever it could, yeah i mean it needs to get there eventually dan if you want um, nobody has to you know whatever you guys want to do i'm gonna i'm gonna start on potatoes just because i get to take another route yeah i don't know how that whole yard over there is kind of not there's not a lot of room check <laughs> the uh, map again all right thank you skit uh, because it's right by the homestead there, uh, there. Is where you're, uh, going. Yeah. But yeah, it's not, uh, not a big lot there, so I don't know. Doubles could be fun in there. It'll be good, though. You're a trained professional, right? Sure. Yeah. Hmm. You looked like a trained professional in flight sub last night. Oh, well, thank you. That was fun. Good time. That was kind of fun. Yeah. Good. Landed in Area 51. Now we're on a list. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did you did you look further into that uh, map update thing? No. No. Okay. I, I was just... thinking about it earlier, and I thought it would be nice, but... I, all I could think about was um, just the amount of absolute killer gigabytes of updates or whatever, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so here's the thing. Polar Bear, you know, Mr. Canadian over here, right? Okay. He started Flight Sim at like, I don't know, sometime this afternoon to download it on his new PC. Mm -hmm. And it was done like two hours later, three hours later. Wow. So, like, why do we get bad flight sim downloads in, in America? <laughs> That's what I'm going to say it is. Micros, he must live next door to the server or something. Right. But, uh, yeah, because, you know, well, you know, flight sim's always streaming data, right? So, like, as you're playing, you know, you're hitting the internet constantly, right? Mm -hmm. So, I don't know that it would be much different than that i don't know it is wild right because flight sims normally like forever to download and he downloaded it like a couple hours ago. i'm just unheard of unheard of kind of jealous not gonna lie <laughs> but yeah who do you want the other fields planted in i was gonna plant a field of barley i don't really like one of the decent side fields but like 
probably 35 maybe um beyond that i don't know what else we need to plant right now because like the 11 13 conglomerates open yeah uh, so we could plant I'd rather not plant hops we need to keep some stuff open for spring planting too okay well i'll just go plant uh barley in 35 yeah i'll be down there in a minute i'm on my last round so i can come help too yeah then we'll keep uh, the other fields for uh, spring. Yeah. Wipes. That's on Tuesday. Oh yeah, downloading Flight Sim was brutal. Even I just did it like a couple weeks ago. It was horrendous. Armor neck, oh back. no! Oh no! You don't say! You don't say so, Trent. I say what? What did Farmer Nick Trent, do? Trent, Trent, Trent had an encounter. Train. <laughs> whoa, whoa! Well, Harry, you're so. I want to. I'm gonna delete Flight Sim tonight and re-download it. No, you're not. <laughs> no, you're no not. I'm not. I want to play it Monday. No, you're not. <laughs> Do you want to play on your computer at all? But they're saying it takes two hours. Three hours. I, I wouldn't believe them. I believe them. I just... Why is my internet so, like, garbage? I got fiber. Gig. All the way to first time TV, even. Come on. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem. All right. Doubles are possible. It is just a little snug. <laughs> snug is a bug in a rug. Hmm? Man, this is nice. What's up, Nick? Is your internet better now? Yeah. That was quite a reset, man. That was like six hours ago. Ah, uh, you know, it, it was like six hours ago. Then I just, you know, I went to do it. I did it. Then I yeah. got busy doing other things. And the next day I know it's, you know, almost 10 o'clock. It's all good, bro. All good. 10 plus total hours. All right, so apparently I need to go get me some, like, Dollar Tree Wi-Fi and Flight Sim will download fast on that. Not saying that Polar Bear or Harry has Dollar Tree Wi-Fi, but apparently that, that might be the strat. It's worth a shot. <laughs> Dollar Tree Wi-Fi. I'm going to go put put my computer in the car and head to Wall or uh, what's it called? McDonald's and sit in the parking lot and use their Wi-Fi. All right. Hit up a Starbucks. Yeah. Yeah. 150 game. Uh, this is a cedar, and the tank behind is a... Uh, it's just a seed tank. Yep. That satellite position is perfect, right? All right. Harry, I don't get it. Montana, what's going on, man? How you doing today? Yeah, this is just a big old cedar. I haul like 34,000 liters of seed. So. Yeah, betcha. I'm doing great. There's a flight sim. Yeah. Yeah, no, it is. I, flight sim is a huge download. Yeah. And then there's there's more optional downloads when you actually get it downloaded too. If you want like Las Vegas to actually have the sphere, that's another download. I think I have all the optional stuff like turned on too. Yeah. I think I have it all. I may not. 80 for the city updates. Gosh. Crazy, y'all. Dollar Tree Wi-Fi, I'm telling you. Oh man. With mods and the memory saved, you have 600 gigs. Wow. Uh, Kimmy, it's in there. I don't remember. Bear, do you know where that's at for like the Vegas update? In flight time? Uh, yes. It is. If you go to the downloads. I think it is or wherever wherever like they sell like all the right? yeah My, wherever they sell like all the new planes and mods and yeah. things like that the people make 
um, because you go it's... to, uh, I think if you just search Vegas, it'll yeah. pop up. It's free. Yeah, I was going to say it's an optional update. It's not a mandatory thing, so it doesn't pop up like a regular update. Yeah, you got to go basically go in like their item shop. Yep. Yeah. I just, without having it in front of me, Kimmy, I don't know what any of that's like called. I really hey, got... If you swing into team speak later on this evening, I'll I'll be on. I'll I can walk you through it. There you go. There you go. There you go. Uh da, da. Yeah, you there if you look in there, give me there's like a whole page of like free stuff. Seventeen updates to do in there, dang. Uh but there's a whole page of like free stuff. There's actually like paid ones too, like I could buy a St. Louis building upgrade update which is kind of cool but like i'm not doing that not I, i'm i don't play flight sim enough to justify spending money in the game no so there's that nope i'm not gonna yeah i can't buy like a 30 dollar aircraft you know yeah you download one thing at a time don't auto does he have problems with autoing <laughs> is that why yeah, there's all kinds of paid stuff, but there's a whole whole list of freebies in there too. Oh my goodness, leg auto save or something? Uh, yelp. We'll, we'll call that one an auto save. I hope so. I need to turn those like I, I keep forgetting every time I drop the server, I need to change that. They're every ten or fifteen minutes right now. We need to go out a little more time on that one. Thirty minutes would be fine. Forty minutes, like that. Auto all broke the game once. Oh, okay. I'm going to be honest. I didn't even know there was an auto all update. I think I just clicked through them all and said, yes, yes, yes. <laughs> so, I didn't know there was an auto all. I got it. It's kind of cool. That's pretty cool, though. Uh, you can put it on like easy mode, basically static, which is like what my game's on. So like when I get in the plane, I'm already on the runway. It's running. All my lights are on. Like, I don't have to do all that stuff. Um, I personally play with an Xbox controller and it's really, it's not bad. No, uh, there's a couple things you need to learn. Like your trim. That's not, that's a really good thing to learn. Mm-hmm. And actually, I haven't done it yet, but I'm going to put, like, trim controls on my keyboard. So instead of having to, like, go in the cockpit of the plane and find where the trim is, I because I, I fly out of cockpit most of the time because I want to, like, look at stuff. And uh, so if I just have a button on the keyboard, I can just beep, boop, pop and adjust, adjust my trim, then I don't have to go in the cockpit and, like, worry <laughs> about it. What's really good about um flight sim is that they have an extensive tutorial system yeah yeah um so whether you've you're kind of familiar with with flying aircraft or you're not yeah yeah you can kind of go through it and it'll take you through everything step by step which is nice or you can just jump in blind and not do the tutorials <laughs> 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 Who did that? I, I, me, I me, 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 oh. pick me. I don't need tutorials in games if I don't have to. Uh, Kimmy, but that's fine. If that's how you want to play the game, there's nothing wrong with that. I don't want to do that. I want to just fly. You know, I don't want to. I don't want to flip all the knobs and hit the levers. You know. But uh, yeah, I mean, I don't use autopilot either. Like Baron. Oh, crap. Oh yeah, I use the. I yeah, use it a lot. Bear and I were flying last night, and he was running autopilot the whole time, and I was just doing my thing. Hey, hey, hey buddy. What? Can we stop planting and change your crop? <laughs> Ruh -roh. So I forgot to do that. Uh, <laughs> Let me go back and start over, okay? Immersion is everything, but 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 if I don't want that much immersion, 
What I'm saying yeah, is like, it's, it's kind of like farm sim where everybody can play however they want. Right? Yeah, like last night I was communicating with, you know, ATC and, you know, getting I, all my instructions. I was kind of doing, doing all that. Oh, were you? Okay. Well, you had to. Okay, so the, the prop, remember I kept saying, like, it's my markers aren't going away. Right. Well, if I hit my marker, like, dead on, it would go away. But if I didn't hit the marker dead on, it wouldn't give me the next one. So then you're like, well, just request. And I was like, oh, I just go in and hit the button. You just go in there and hit the button. And it's fine, you know? Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, once I did that, then, yeah, I communicated with ATC, which then I got that. I got that. Uh, that little achievement. I got yeah. that achievement last night. <laughs> First one in four years or two years, whatever it was. <laughs> I guess two years. Four years? I don't know. Whatever it was. I think it was 2020. Is this better, Scoot? Am I doing the right thing now? Yeah, so I sure still need a different texture. Uh, Probably because I had already planted over part of it, and it's fine. It's the, the OCD people are going to have a field day. Sorry, OCD people. Uh, but after this, like, pass I'm doing now, it shouldn't it shouldn't happen for the rest of the field. Oh, yeah. But it's probably because, yeah, I already planted some and then went back over it. And once it starts doing the texture, it just kind of wants to keep doing it. But it'll be okay. Use auto once you take off. Yeah, that's what Bear was doing last night, right? Once you got up to height, then you hit your auto. Um, I know. so I like to get like that, um, that a three twenty tutorial I was doing the jetliner tutorial Yep. at the end of the night that, that basically got me autopilot like right away. Yeah. Basically as soon as told you, you to ground. engage it, you know, yep. once you were up, um, for me, I actually like to, I like to get out of the air, out of the mid air, air area of the airport before I start, you know, sure. Sure, sure, sure. Feels feels rune start over. Oh man. Uh, are we just going back and forth, or what are we doing here, Skip? I was just going back and forth because it's really hard for me to turn these in. That's fine. Oh. That's fine. I just Manageable if we man. were gonna, I was gonna do an end row here, but you've already got this planted, so you're good, bro. If we leave a little, I'll, I'll, I got your, I got your six. I'll say I didn't miss the spot. Uh, the well, on this side, there might be a skipper by the time I turn in. So I'll just uh, do this real quick. How's the calories? Uh, we don't have any beef jerky. Sorry. Cow raisins. Uh, so then Scoot, if you go like on the other end, you, you go over two passes and then go down that one. Or actually three go down the third pass and then yeah. after that you just skip one leave me one skip one you know skip one take one skip one take one rest of the field mm -hmm. all right we got it we got our seed and playing trap although honestly i might pass you because i got power and you don't <laughs> sorry not sorry or wait we need a second one of these don't we at some point see i tried uh i've tried in the past and, and maybe now with oh, being able to set the up like a yeah now that i know more about the game i've always been i've been trying like every time i play flight sim not every time a lot of times i grab a i'll grab a 747 and try to land it at the little airport down by the farm <laughs> Uh, it just has never gone well, but I feel like I'm better at the game now. And I know how to slow down a little just, bit. Just reduce speed really early. Well, my my problem usually, Nick, when I go to land is I don't go far enough away from the airports. And usually I'm like 10,000 feet and I'm like straight nose dive. That's not oh. how it works. <laughs> so if you can... Gradually come yeah. down and slow. Uh, Scoot, I'll just leave you as a skipper. How about that? 
That works. All right, ten four. But yeah, that's why you... they call it a glide path, not a drop path. Yeah. I don't have yoke throttle throttle, but no, I don't have any of that stuff now. Now, so that goes back to my comment about I don't play flight sim enough to spend money on flight sim, right? Um, if I played it a whole lot more, yeah, I would have all the stuff. Um, I can use my Thrustmaster joystick than I have. Uh, in fact, that's really nice for flying a helicopter. Um, but mostly I'm going to be Xbox controller in. So. Yeah, I'm going to be, I'm going to be Xbox in for the most part. But yeah. Microsoft jet plane simulator. <laughs> well, they do have the uh, F-18, so. Well, the funny thing is, Sean, the joysticks, actually, they're both set up identical for some reason. Like, I don't know if they're, I don't know. They're both the same. So when I was flying a helicopter the other day, like, just off stream, obviously, I was just, like, leaned back in my chair, and I had one hand on like the left joystick and that's how I was actually flying the helicopter. That's the wrong button. Uh, I was actually flying the helicopter with my left hand and then I was using the throttle that's on the Thrustmaster on the right joystick up and down to run my throttle or collective. Mm -hmm. And uh, that worked out well, but it was kind of awkward. For stream, I'll probably just rock the Xbox controller to be honest. It works fine. The only th the only problem I was having with the Xbox controller is is in a heli. Running the collective uh, is a little awkward. Um, but I think with time I'll get used to it. And I don't know how much helicopter I plan on doing like on stream anyway. Although I have been challenged bear to land a helicopter on top of the arch. So. <laughs> That will have to happen towards the end of the night, I assume, on Monday. So, yeah. We'll see. I, I really feel like before I go to bed tonight, I need to start downloading Flight Sim. <laughs> well, so there's... I, I have a suggestion for you, Nick. What's that? If you start it and it's and it's not taking very long, I wouldn't let it run overnight. All right. Okay, because for some reason, at least for me, and I don't know if this does this for everybody, the main menu of Flight Sim, when you actually get in, runs like all the frames and all the CPU and all the processor, like, or oh. GPU. And, like, I almost cooked my computer with it. It was, like, 95 or 98 degrees in this room uh, oh. one morning because I left it run all night to download. <laughs> and it might have been running, like, I don't know, six hours all heat stressed out like that. Oh, that's not a good idea. So you can try, and if it's going to take, like, depending on your, uh, you know, the, the progress bar, right? Yeah. If it's moving really slow, then maybe, but you want to make sure tomorrow before you, like, when you get up, go check it, you know? Yeah. But just a heads up. I don't know if it does it to everybody's PC, but mine, the, the menu of Flight Sim absolutely just runs the frame rate and murders the computer. So, have you since uh, put a frame rate limit on your on the game? Well, maybe that's the problem. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I think I have, but I don't think it limits in the main menu. Hmm. I'll have to look at that again. Sounds like we're going to be playing flight sim later, huh? I mean, I didn't go to bed yesterday until this morning at five o'clock. So, oh, why were you up so late? Well, we we were playing for a while. Oh, you're blaming me. Okay, all right. Is that what well, you told I, your I'm wife? I'm just saying we <laughs> we you know I'm French all of a sudden. Wait, wait. Uh, we were up playing and then. Oh man. Uh, you went to bed. What did I do? Yeah, I went to bed. You're right. <laughs> yeah. Well. You said goodnight. I said I was going to go edit, and then I looked at that computer, and I was like, I don't actually have any files on that computer to edit. I'm just going <laughs> to go to bed. 
I was like, I turned everything off and just went to bed. I was like, I'll deal with that tomorrow. <laughs> and I turned something on. I can't remember what I turned on. I just you started yeah, watching. Just watching something. Started watching something, and you know, it happens. One thing led to another, and there I am. And then your watermelon sodas kept you awake, right? Oof. <laughs> Has that situation been remedied or no? Uh yes. That's good. Yes, and there was compromise. Oh yeah. Which is always good. No more watermelon so, in the basement fridge? No more watermelon. Before a week-long vacation? Yep. I mean, seems legit to me. I, I feel like there's a story. Well, I... So yesterday, Nick... We, we just got back from a vacation. Yeah. We were out of town for the week. And um, I came... Came downstairs to playing some games with the boys, as, as one will do. Yeah. And I go into my drink fridge down here in the in the basement, and for some reason my Coke Zeros like were sticky. I'm like, what in the world is going on? Like, <laughs> the cans were sticky. And like, so I, I didn't think much of it. I just kind of you know just poured them in my cup and you know went on his day. Kept going. Mm -hmm. One of my thing. Well, then I then I started to look. There was some like liquid in the on the bottom of the refrigerator. I'm like, what in the world? Well. Unbeknownst to me, uh, because of the angle, I'm a taller guy. So because of the angle I was oh. looking at my refrigerator, I could not see at the very top shelf inside the refrigerator that there was a half of a watermelon. That's that, kind of okay. That someone had left on the top someone. shelf. Someone. <clears throat> we're not going to name names. <laughs> okay, someone I'm closely related to by marriage. <laughs> By marriage. <laughs> um, <laughs> it's only yeah. one person. <laughs> um, so we, uh, I, I let them know, hey, uh, was there a watermelon down here? That you, you know? <laughs> so, yeah. So, t this evening, since I was asleep at 5 a.m. this morning, uh. um, and all the other activities of the day. I, when I when I, I just got home, I got the last bit of the potatoes. By the way, um, we um, the situation was remedied. This the situation has now yeah. been remedied. So <laughs> I took the watermelon out to the woods, threw it out, and he cleaned the refrigerator. So ah. we we split the load and got it done. Sean had a watermelon the other day. Let's go. <sighs> Watermelon's so good. I ice know. cold watermelon. Oh, I'm so honestly kind of surprised like it didn't stink when you opened your fridge. I, I it was wrapped in saran wrap, it was, but oh. it was it was definitely moldy. It was probably one of those once you disturbed it, right? Maybe. Yeah. But even even so, like I just like grabbed the saran wrap mm. and like just pulled it onto one of those like aluminum chafing dishes. <laughs> <laughs> and then went out, went out the back door, and out to the woods, and you know, yeah. dumped it, took the saran wrap off, and I'm sure there's some insects right now that are loving, life happy. Of me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not a watermelon guy though. I just, I don't, don't do it. You know, you're you're talking about like moldy things in a fridge, right? Reminds mm -hmm. me of a story. Uh, we had that power. It was back in '06. We had we had a summer storm and a winter storm. Ice storm in the winter. Kind of a tornado, Be big, back. big Boeco, lots of straight line winds across the St. Louis area, right? So we, we, you know, went to the farm as normal, but like the whole St. Louis area basically pretty much was without electricity, right? So we're down there doing whatever. Well, the one day we go to the farm and there's a trash can sitting at the end of the lane with a lid on it. Mm. And I'm like, dad, I've seen, I've seen crime shows. Um, there's going to be something in that trash can that like the cops need to know about, you know? <laughs> and he's like, no, 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 it's fine. So I ended up getting brave one day after I sat out in the heat, like hundred plus theory oh. days or a couple days. And Oof. I opened it. Bad idea. First mm -hmm. off, every uh, the contents of the bag, it was, or the trash can was moving from the, the oh. maggots, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So come to find out what it was, uh, somebody had emptied the contents of their freezer into a trash bag in a trash can and left it at the end of our, our lane for us. 
Because mm-hmm. I'm assuming that, like, you know, it was selling up their house. That, that was really nice of them. Yeah, so that, that actually just ended up sitting out there for a while. And then eventually the farmers, they dumped the trash out into the road ditch. And it kind of, like, it kind of calmed down for a little while, like smells and stuff, you know? And then I was mowing one time with the brush hog. Oh. And oh. I kind of <laughs> forgot about the pile of trash. <laughs> Dude, it kind of smelled still. Uh, you <laughs> you <laughs> shook it back up. Yep. <laughs> I at my parents' house there's a freezer that's sitting outside that no one will open. Oh. No one will move. Oh. That's not good. It's been sitting in the heat since I was in high school. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh huh. Well. In fairness, my parents are kind of hoarders. I was going to say, bro, what? What's, it from, it, what's in the freezer? Uh, it was from my trapping day, so animal pelts. Nobody oh, knows. my God. <laughs> and, First uh, of all, if you're able to get it open, God bless. Yeah. I, I don't even want, I don't want to deal with it. <laughs> It doesn't sound like you, you don't have. It doesn't sound like you have to. Yeah, it's, it's not I your mean, problem anymore. Right? I mean, currently I'm five and a half hours away from this freezer, so Hashtag it's not, not my your problem. problem. Yeah. Oh my god. It's just one of those things that you know lives in the back of my mind. Like, someone someday's going to hit it with a car, <laughs> or they're they're gonna finally get rid of it, and they're gonna disturb it, and that's just gonna oh. be god awful. You're gonna have the crime scene unit crime scene unit arrive at your parents house because they're gonna think it's something else oh that's horrible it all started yeah and and it all started because uh we lost power for like four or five days at my parents house oh you gotta get ahead of that though Uh uh-huh as soon as you lose power and it's like bad it's, it's gotta go like I what said, would you, not uh, my problem. Since you, okay, Trapper Nick. Okay, Trapper Nick. what would you what would you recommend <laughs> for a fox? What, what, I don't know. What, how would you what, how would you go about? What it? does a fox say? I've never trapped for fox, so I will not know. Oh, Wait, you got, a, you got a fox in your backyard, now, Bear? So that oh, was a raccoon. Uh, well, there yes, there was. Huh? Now it's a so, fox. Huh? Check an update. <laughs> There's none left. Let me tell you this. We are not going to lose any more chickens. <laughs> and that is a fact. Because there are no more chickens. Because there are no more chickens to lose. <laughs> kind of hard to lose. So we have. go on vacation. There's one chicken left. So, of course, you know, oh. the person who watches our chickens, we f- I feel bad. It's like yeah. making them come over here for one chicken, really. <laughs> just, just do the old, you know, snap, snap. <laughs> Fry fry kind wow. of thing, you know what I mean? <laughs> um, so we get the hot text. Hey, we haven't seen uh, we haven't seen your chicken. Oh no! So that one's gone. Then we then we start texting some neighbors. Yep. The neighbor next door to us has seen raccoons, possums, and foxes oh, on wow. their cameras. Living out in the woods. But not really. You need to get you, like, I guess, enough. Uh, livestock guardian dog. Jeez. Uh, you know. <laughs> or just don't have chickens. I don't know. I'm going to. There's that. the chicken coop that we have now is more like a kind of like a repurposed woodshed. Oh, OK. Um, so it's like a full height door and everything else. So I, I'm going to I'm good. It's not really a coop, right? Yeah. It's not yeah. off the ground. You know things like that, right? So I, I'm gonna reconfigure it this fall. Sure. Take all the uh, take all the um, planks off of it, yeah. siding, wood siding, and just kind of like make it safe. Try to make it better, right? Make it like you know hip high. Yep. Yep. yep, yep. Um, I got you. Makes sense. Uh, you're the rounds a little bit better. Yeah. I do have a trick for you. I can't tell it on stream. You know, it's a little weird. You put them in a freezer for 45 years. <laughs> <laughs> you leave them at your parents' house. No, that it deters most uh, predatorial animals. 
Oh, oh is it, um, I know what is it is. It, I know. Is it number one? Yep. Nope. Oh, I was thinking, yep. Is it number two? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm just going to park this over hey, here. Yeah, bear does in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> After all, it's right there. I see it. Uh, I'm just going to park this over here at 35 or 34 because we're planting something eventually. Uh, so no sense uh, taking it home. Plus, you know, 32. Uh, eventually, um, yeah, we need to, well... We're pretty much done. There's fertilizing then. God, 32 is blinding on the fertilizing map. It's so bright. Oof. It's so bright. Yeah. Farmer right, Nick, we bought we bought 32 the other day, right? Yeah. Three hundred and thirty thousand dollars to buy data for precision. Oh. And then I think we spent another three or four hundred thousand dollars on lime. And wants it to seed and fertilize at a few million. I I don't want to know, but we'll find out mm. eventually. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be rough. We're gonna plant it in sunflowers um, at some uh, at some point. So. so, so at least it's not like the highest yielding crop out there. Yeah. Can somebody help you on your farm? Uh, I I can. If you have questions, I can help with questions. But like actually coming to help you on your farm? No. Uh, but guys, I think we're done. We're past the 10 hour mark and, uh, well, that peanut butter sandwich just didn't, uh, you know, didn't do it for me earlier. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm getting ready to hit me up on a peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> Without that jelly, you know, it just didn't, it just didn't hit right. So anyway, I'll, uh, I'll be back in team so you can a little bit. Okay, bye. Right. Those of you watching over on YouTube, have a great rest of your day and as always, uh, toodles.